Good morning everyone and welcome back to another beautiful, bright, sunny May morning, which oh my goodness me, I've just realised that this is going to be the last video to go up in May, which means as you're watching this, it is my birthday tomorrow. It is my birthday eve and I am turning 25 this year, which I am so excited about. I love getting older. I feel like I'm a very rare breed. I love new birthdays. I love getting older. I feel like it probably helps that I hang around with people that are a lot older than me. Like Alex is about three years older. A lot of my friends are turning like 29, 30 this year. So I kind of feel like that's what I should be turning. So when I kind of remind myself, no, no, you're turning 25, I'm like, oh. How am I only turning 25? I keep joking around with my friends being like, woo, halfway to 50. But no, I am really, really excited for my birthday this year. I feel like it's taken me a while to warm up to it. And I think it's mainly just because I haven't had plans set in place very early on. It's been a bit of a last minute birthday. Normally I have things set quite early. I know exactly what I'm gonna be doing, how I'm gonna be celebrating, like what the plans are. Whereas this year, I've been a little bit more last minute with it, but we finally have plans set in place and I feel I can really start to get excited for my birthday and fingers crossed the weather stays because we've had some gorgeous weather this past week. I feel like it's taken so long for summer to heat up pun not intended, but summer is finally here and it's just been such a beautiful week weather-wise, so I'm just keeping every finger and toe crossed that the weather stays and we have a beautiful sunshine on my birthday because we're going to be doing a lot of hosting, we're going to have the doors open, we're planning on like doing a garden party, it's going to be amazing, I'm super, super excited, Um, so yeah, I actually had a new delivery arrive this morning that I wanted to unbox with you guys, so this arrived this morning and I'm super, super excited to unbox it because this is actually a really, really kind gift from a brand called Bramley. Can we just appreciate this packaging? Like, oh, the branding of this brand, I'm just absolutely obsessed with. So we've got a little note in here which says, Dear Ellie, huge congratulations on your engagement. Please find enclosed a few pampering treats from Bramley, ideal for a spot of R&R &R ahead of wedding planning. We hope you love them. Which is so, so lovely. You can actually see a photo of the, um, the products on the back and I'm super excited to see what we have inside because I definitely think I'm gonna need some pre-birth birthday pampering oh they actually have a 15% off thing in here it says thank you 15 I think you'll probably only be able to use that once so whoever gets in there first you have that discount code to use so let me show you what we've got inside so first of all we have a body lotion can we just appreciate the packaging like this is absolutely stunning so this has juniper sweet orange and bergamot essential oils and I love bergamot it's like one of my favorite essential oils so I'm super excited to smell this Oh my word. Oh, that smells absolutely incredible. Yeah, I think, is it the juniper or the bergamot I'm mainly getting? Oh, it literally smells like a spa. That literally smells like a spa. I'm so, so excited to give that a try. It says that all of the products are made with the finest essential oils and 100% natural botanicals, which gives them their wonderful fragrance and amazing therapeutic qualities. Cruelty free and skin kind. Oh my word. Oh, so excited to give that a try tonight after my shower. I actually have a workout tonight and I'm not gonna lie, I am dying after my last workout. I tried something new the other day with a friend of mine. I think it was called like bodyism or body pump or something like that and it was basically this like full body circuit workout with weights and we literally died a death she texted me this morning actually saying oh my god my armpits still hurt from the workout i was like no for me i've almost got like a t on like my back like where my shoulders are i can just feel a t of just muscle that's just like so tight and sore after the workout it was a really really tough one but we did enjoy it it was quite a fun one and the instructor was so lovely i always find whenever you're new to a class they're always like really good at looking after you and being like right let me explain how to do it and one thing the instructor said to us was do not put heavy weights on with this session just stick to the lightest weights don't look at what anyone else is doing like some people were putting some really heavy weights on but the main thing she said to us is you really want to focus on the technique and i'm so glad she said that because by the end of the session we were dead absolutely dead and i do actually have another workout class tonight i've got my cycle class tonight which i'm really looking forward to actually because it's just basically an opportunity to go and meet up with a pal we usually grab a smoothie afterwards and just sit and have a chat and just sing our hearts out to some of our favorite songs. It's a really, really fun one. And I feel like it works out quite well because this, like the upper part of my body is still aching from the body workout. And then tonight is going to be more about the lower body. So I feel like it works. So I'm very excited to use that after my shower. And I think with my shower, I'll probably use this. This is the body wash with grapefruit, lavender and sweet orange. I love anything with lavender. Again, look at the packaging. It's so beautiful. It's like very clean and crisp. I feel like if I was to ever create a brand, 
it would be very similar to this but let's give this a whiff oh wow this wasn't that's not what i was expecting i feel like i was expecting the lavender to be the main thing but i think it's the sweet orange maybe mixed with the grapefruit that's very citrusy i think that will be a perfect body wash to use in the morning you know to like wake you up for the day that is beautiful we then have i'm guessing this is a lip balm calm balm with rosehip chamomile and yarrow i'm assuming this must be a lip balm i mean let's give it a try yeah i'm pretty sure that's a lip balm mm, that feels really lovely i know i've got lipstick on but i always like to apply a bit of balm over the top so a lovely little lip balm and then finally we have a sleep spray oh my word i love a sleep spray i am someone who every single night i will spray my pillow and i feel like it's kind of gotten a bit pavlovian now in the sense that i would go to bed and i would spray my sleep spray i would go to bed and i would spray my sleep spray that it started getting to a point where obviously every time you smell the sleep spray your brain knows you've gone to bed and it's time to sleep so i feel like it really really helps with regards to sleep even just in that sense it's also so lovely to have a nice calming relaxing scent whenever you go to bed so this has got lavender yarrow and chamomile i don't think i've ever heard of yarrow before but oh that smells incredible chamomile is quite strong in that but the lavender is coming through that is lovely i think i'm gonna give that a try tonight so some really really lovely gifts from bramley to basically give me a bit of pre-wedding pre-birthday pampering so as i mentioned we have got lots planned for my birthday now and lots of it is going to involve the garden we've got lots of like garden parties we're gonna have people around we're gonna be hosting a lot and one thing i really want to do is just get the garden to a point where it's like completely ready for hosting i feel like with regards to like my pots like the wisteria is looking amazing the sionothus bus is almost going over so fingers crossed it stays for just like one more week so that everyone can see the amazing blue colors of it but i do feel like with regards to the borders i feel like i can do a little bit of work on them i really want to make them a bit more like herbaceous and a bit fuller i think would be really really lovely so i'm going to pop to the garden center have a look at what they've got new in and see if there's anything that i can just plant up along the border and just get the garden to like the perfect place that's looking really full really luscious and ready for all of the garden parties for my birthday so we have arrived at the garden center and my goodness me there is such an abundance to choose from i feel like this is always the perfect time to come to the garden center because things are kind of like just coming into flower and it's like the perfect time to plant a lot of things i'm gonna have a little look around things that are really good for like an english countryside border oh they've got peonies oh my goodness me i love peonies but i I feel like they're just too high maintenance for someone who's such a novice gardener like myself also obsessed with this urn it is a dream of mine to have like gorgeous huge urns dotted about the garden that pergola over there oh i'm getting so much inspo <laughs> okay so they've got a huge choice of grasses but now that i'm here i'm just not sure if i'm absolutely loving them i don't know i feel like i need to have a wander around and see some of the other flowers we've got some more like yellowy green grass this is quite an intense blue color um mm, i'm not sure these are very pretty these are delphiniums and they have such a gorgeous little white flower i love these i would also love to one day have a kitchen garden big enough to have rhubarb forces and huge beds full of veg i mean we'll get through this one year of growing first but that is the absolute life goal i just love how rhubarb forcer looks when they start to get a bit aged and a bit weathered like this one's already going a bit green i just absolutely love it Okay, I've picked up some lavender because I just absolutely love how it looks and smell. We always have a few purple flowers coming through. So these are Lavendula angustifola Hidcot. Not entirely sure, but it's a herbaceous perennial, which means I'm not gonna have to replant it every year. And lavender is quite hardy, so I think that's gonna be perfect to put around the border. Oh wow, these are beautiful. The most vibrant purple salvia I think I have ever seen. I might have to pick up one of these as well. Oh my goodness me, I've just found a baby Sionithus. I always assume I'm pronouncing it correctly because I've only ever seen it written down. Is it Sionithus or Sionithus? I assume so, but this is the um, gorgeous blue bush that we have in our garden. I can't believe I've just spotted a baby one, the teeny tiny flowers. Oh, this is literally like my favorite plant that we have in the entirety of the garden. From the garden center now, and I think it is safe to say that that was a very, very successful haul. I feel like I went in with a vision and I actually changed my mind when I started kind of like walking around and envisioning it and seeing the plants. I was really thinking I was going to go for something a little bit more leafy, some like big grasses to fill the space. But actually, the more I think about it, the more our border already has a lot of kind of foliage and actually I think it'd be really really nice to put a bit more of a pop of color so I 
have come home with these gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. So I picked up four of these lavender flowers. Now I already have lavender in the border, but it's a different kind to this. The one I've got in the border is the ones that kind of like open up a bit more, whereas these are a little bit more kind of stereotypical lavender flowers. And I wish you guys could smell this because it smells absolutely incredible. It says that bees love these as well, which makes me really, really happy because we obviously want to support the local wildlife. Um, so these are called Lavendula Hidcot Lavender, I think is the particular type this is the um the thing should we see what it says to kind of describe it so highly scented plump violet blue flower spikes above nearest evergreen bush bushlets with narrow green gray aromatic foliage good for drying culinary herb also i could actually use these uh, as a herb as well oh that's really really lovely so um yes they are definitely going to go in the border so i picked up four of those because what i was kind of envisioning doing is basically spreading them out away from the other lavender and putting them more kind of towards the front of the border because i feel like that might fill that space really really well i thought that would look absolutely beautiful i then also picked up which i was not planning at all this gorgeous salvia so these are called the exact name salvia cottage garden fashionista pretty in pink um and i've heard really good things about salvia um so this is it's a stunning new variety selected for its bright bold blooms and exceptional gardening performance vibrant large lavender pink flowers are held on contrasting darker pink salicis in may and june florals for spring groundbreaking oh my god i love that that's so funny so there's just like little instructions on how you um plant these but i just saw them and i fell in love with how vibrant they were they are just so so beautiful and i thought they would look so stunning kind of paired with all of the purples if you know with regards to my borders we've got like a white and purple theme i've got white and pink for the pot white and purple for the borders and i just thought that would be so so beautiful especially when the cyanothus starts kind of like dying back and then we just have this gorgeous pop of purple in the borders i thought they were just so so stunning so really happy with those i then also came away with a successful kitchen purchase now if you know i've literally been eyeing up these bowls for so so long they had a tomato one and a lemon one before but they've never had this one and i fell in love with it i felt like with the tomato and the lemon they were almost a bit too summery and i felt like i wouldn't have been able to get any use out of them in like autumn winter or like spring um whereas this one all it has is these kind of like yellowy flowers they almost look like lemon but they're kind of not like they also have this um lovely green foliage running through it and i thought it was so so beautiful so we really needed a new big serving dish because i feel like you can never have too many serving dishes when you've got friends around when you've got company over um and it's from the same brand that did my lemon jug siaki i believe if you don't know my lemon jug let me show you because i absolutely adore this baby she is so so gorgeous and i feel like these paired together are just going to look amazing as a bit more of like a tablescape for when we've got all of our guests over so super happy with my gardening haul i feel like i did very very well so i think i'm going to get outside and spend the rest of the afternoon potting up my new flowers and just getting the borders to a place that i'm really really happy with so the garden is ready for hosting for my birthday
person underneath this hat. Honestly, I've literally been wearing the world's biggest sunglasses paired with the world's biggest hat, but that is exactly how I like to garden. So it's been a very successful couple of hours in the garden. Just been watering all of the rest of the plants now as well. And I'm so, so happy with my choices that I made at the garden center. I feel like it really has like lifted the space a little bit. I mean, one thing I do hate about gardening is that it is a patience man game and I'm not notorious for being patient. Um, like it always looks like you've got so much in your trolley. Obviously you spend a lot of money and then you put it in the ground and you're like, oh, is that is that it? Is that all we've got? Um, but hopefully they will bloom this summer and they will become absolutely huge. Like this fern, literally about a month ago, was this big. So um, yeah, I'm hoping that these are going to absolutely burst into flower and they're going to grow super, super quickly. So I'm going to make sure to water them a lot. I won't, that was quite difficult because the soil was very, very dry because of the um, lovely weather that we've been having recently. So it was a little bit of a struggle. I'm not going to lie, my shoulders are killing now again, but it was a great warm up for my workout this afternoon. So so I've just been watering all the rest of my flowers as well. I love my watering can. I got this last year. It's a grow zone one that I got the garden scent and it's so beautiful because it's sage green. So absolutely love that. So I've just been going around and watering all of the rest of my flowers as well. I find it so important to water things like the wisteria. I think that's part of the reason why it has just completely come into its own this summer because this time last year, I don't think it had ever been watered. It had never been maintained. And obviously I have just spent a year maintaining it, like kind of training it, watering it, nurturing it, um, giving it plant food and everything like that and I feel like that's what's really really helped so I'm hoping within like the next month all of these flowers are going to be fully in bloom this is going to be a really like full herbaceous border so I am super super happy with the progress well it is safe to say that everything hurts everything hurts this morning I don't think I have ever had this many muscle groups aching all at the same time. I literally think I have killed my body. I woke up this morning, I said to Alex, I was like, I think I'm gonna need to pull me out of bed. Like, I don't think I can get up. Cause obviously the body class, the body pump, body ism class that I did the other day, gardening yesterday, and then cyclone in the evening. I don't know what I was thinking because my poor muscles are screaming at me this morning. It was a really fun class last night though. They had some really good music playing. And I feel like I'm that person that like, dependent on how much I enjoy the class, dependent on how like hard I work, really depends on the music. I'm that person that's like in the corner, like singing away to the music and just kind of like letting the rhythm take me. Like I love cycling to the beat of the song, like to the rhythm of the song. And I'm just kind of there like, yes, cycling along. So I really did enjoy it, but my goodness me, my whole body is aching so much today. I feel like that's something I did not realize before I started gardening is actually how physically demanding it is. I feel like I always thought it was quite an easy, like lovely hobby to have. And like, I didn't really think it was like exercise, but I would say gardening is like full on exercise and it is actually really physically demanding so everything is aching this morning but we are keeping calm and we are carrying on hopefully my body kind of just like loosens throughout the day i might actually run myself a really steamy hot bath tonight just to kind of loosen and like relax the muscles a little bit but this morning i've had a new delivery arrive that i wanted to unbox with you guys i am super super excited about because this is a lovely delivery from Ciate and you guys know how much I adore Ciate products. They have some really, really lovely bits. I feel like they're like a really good price point as well with regards to makeup. Um, so I believe this is to celebrate their new winged liner duo. We've got a few things here. Um, I'll read this out to you. So name a better duo, our weight. Ciate London's brown new fierce wing duo. Our fixed wing duo is our new makeup bag must have become a liner pro. Use the liquid brush liner to ultra fine precision and the double ended wing stamp for each eye to create the ultimate wing. That's so clever. Complete your eyes with the triple shots mascara for instant volumized lashes and an extreme lengthening effect. Use our best selling watermelon burst hydrating primer to smooth the skin and grip the foundation that then line, define and hydrate those lips with our velvet lip liner and watermelon burst lip oil. Oh my word. I feel like this is just like a big mixture of some of their best selling products, but this is so genius. I don't actually have any liner on today, but I always get questions about how I do my winged liner and I'm quite particular about how I do it, but for anyone that struggles with liner, I feel like this is such a clever way of making sure that you get like a really lovely wing. So, oh my word, that's genius. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but basically on this stamp, there is like, hey, can you see that there? There is literally what looks like a triangle stamped on the end to create the winged liner. That is so 
clever. I'm not going for heavy makeup today, otherwise I would tell. Oh, okay, let's test it on my hand. Ah, <gasps> that's genius. That is genius. Can you see that? Let's do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Boop. I'm shook. I am absolutely shook. That is so clever. So if you're someone that really struggles with creating a winged line, oh my goodness, left and right. <gasps> so it's even like goes with each side of your um your eye so it kind of so right obviously points up so it like creates a lovely cat eye that is the smartest thing i think i've ever ever seen ciate you deserve a medal for that because that is amazing we then have in here let's unbox all of these together so the watermelon burst hydrating primer i do actually need a new hydrating primer at the moment wow look at that that is really really lovely i'm gonna give this a smell because i don't like anything too like too strong See if I can just apply a little bit. Mm, that is quite a sweet smell. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to love that on my face. So maybe I'll give that a try. And if I don't get on with that, I can always pass that over to a friend. We then have the Triple Shot XXL Mascara. I've never actually tried a mascara from Ciate before. So I'm not entirely sure what to expect. But obviously I'm assuming this is going to create some really, really big lashes. So we've got a bit of a plastic applicator it's quite a big wand like that to me is a little bit overwhelming but um hopefully that will create a lovely thick lash we've then got two lip products here we first of all got the watermelon burst hydrating lip oil which oh i really like the sound of that i've heard a lot of people talking about lip oil at the moment it's supposed to be really good at just creating like a really lovely luscious like chewy lip i'm gonna give it a try because it sounds really really nice mm. although it's very watermelony I'm not normally someone who likes taste. I feel like I've just eaten like a candy kitten. That is going to take some getting used to, but I do, I do quite like how like juicy it's made my lips feel. I really like that. So maybe I'll be able to get used to that. But the last thing we have here is the Velvet Lip Liner. I'm gonna have to see if this is a sharpen or a push up because I really don't like to sharpen lip liners all. <gasps> Yay, it is a twist up. That's a really, really lovely shade that just looks quite yeah that's like a really nice kind of mauve nudie shade can you see that there please excuse all of the uh, liner stamps on my hand now but that's just like a really lovely shade so i think that will be perfect in summer i always love push-up lip liners and i have been looking for a new color to add because i feel like i've been getting quite samey with my lips recently so that's a lovely one to add into my makeup bag so some lovely gifts from ciate to open up this morning so i have just had one of the most exciting deliveries arrive I am dying to rip this box open and go through these pieces with you because we have some potential wedding shoes in here, which I know it's really, really early to start looking at, but this is one of my favorite bridal brands. And it's actually a brand that I discovered before I even ever got engaged, like start thinking about wedding planning or anything like that. And speaking of wedding planning, I do feel like we need to have a bit of a catch up because has been some progress being made which is super super exciting it's always really difficult knowing what exactly to share and what not especially when we're still this early on with regards to the planning but if you are looking for some wedding shoes whether you're a bride a bridesmaid even just like a guest you need to check out rainbow shoes i discovered them a couple of years ago around christmas time and they do so so many beautiful shoes and after they saw the engagement announcement they very very kindly asked me if i wanted to try out a few new styles from them and i feel like it's so nice just to like try out different styles see what kind of like works see what i'm like leaning towards so let's get into the box so i'm pretty sure all of the shoes that they do at rainbow shoes come in white but i'm pretty sure every single shoe you can get dyed and they have like different colors that you can choose from so one thing that i actually saw that i did think was really really cute that someone did for their wedding was they wore this like stunning pair of royal blue heels i thought that would be so lovely to maybe like get these dyed in like a royal blue but for now i'm just sticking to white because i feel like that is so classic but i love the idea of that that your something blue is like always on your feet for the entirety of the day but let's open these because i have chosen some really really gorgeous heels some really gorgeous shoes and oh these are so so beautiful so the first pair i will leave all of the names and the links down below so this is the mimi which i believe is one of their most popular pairs and understandably because look 
at these. I mean, does that not just scream bridal shoe? And if you can see here, it actually has this gorgeous little like tool detail that kind of like wraps around your ankle. I'm obsessed with the pointed toe. I do feel like when it comes to heels and when it comes to wedding shoes, I have to have a pointed toe because I just feel like they're so elongating. They're so like, they stretch out your foot and therefore stretch out your leg and I really, really love that. Now this has got quite a nice sized heel. One thing I am concerned about with this is it is a stiletto and obviously with certain weddings and depending on what we're going for, I don't want to give too much away, but obviously if you're walking on grass, the heel is not ideal. So this is an option for if we definitely don't go for an option where I need to be walking on grass. I can't give any more away from that, but I love the fact that it's got like the strap around the ankle because it holds you on really nicely and also you can create like a really gorgeous bow around your ankle so i just thought these were absolutely stunning they are just so so beautiful okay next up we have the elise and these i was basically planning on being my evening shoe i thought these would be so so perfect because i do feel like it's so important to make sure that you've got a pair of flats for dancing i feel like sophia ritchie has really kind of pioneered that not pioneered but almost like reinforced that that it's totally okay to change into flats you want to be comfortable you want to be cute and when i saw these I just fell in love. So these are the Elise. And again, they've got this really gorgeous. This, I would say it's more of like an almond shape. It's not quite round, but it's not quite pointed. So I thought this would be so, so beautiful for the evening. And they have this stunning like glitter running around the side. I love the fact that there are slingbacks. It still makes them quite like light, makes them quite feminine. And I feel like if you were to look at this from this angle, you would not know that they were flats. It's only when you can turn them on their side when you see. So they're going to be super, super comfortable to dance in. I am really unsure whether we want to do a Kaylee for the wedding. Now, if you know, we've both got Scottish family and Scottish heritage, and a Kaylee is basically... The best way to describe it is it's almost like line dancing, but with like Scottish music. You can have an Irish Kaylee or a Scottish Kaylee, and obviously it'll be a Scottish Kaylee for us. We're undecided whether to do that because we do really enjoy them, but it does take up like a big portion of like the dancing in the evening where the people just want to like let loose and dance rather than do like actual like choreographed dances. Um, but it might be really, really fun to do. We're still undecided about that yet, but these would be perfect dancing shoes for that. And obviously just to take me through into the rest of the evening, I'm definitely going to have to wear actual heels for the wedding day because the high height difference between me and Alex is not okay but as soon as the evening hits I'm gonna want to change into these okay next we've got Amelie and if I remember correctly these are slightly higher heels so yes wow I do not remember them being this beautiful I feel like on the website it almost just doesn't do it justice how stunning these shoes are but this is the Amelie shoe and oh my word how beautiful is that now what i liked about this is obviously it's more of like a block heel so it is a little bit more secure and i don't have to worry too much about like grass and things like that they've got a stunning look at that detail the like diamantes running around that strap a stunning stunning strap and again a pointed to my one concern is how high these heels are however it will make sure that me and Alex look slightly more normal in our photos. So there's so much that you have to like consider with regards to like the dress and the shoes and like how you want to be looking, but also how you want to be feeling. So I thought these were another gorgeous, gorgeous option. I mean, look at them. These are honestly just like the most stunning wedding shoes I think I've ever seen. And finally, we've got the Jonies. Now these are a little bit more casual, I would say. And one thing that we really want to do is kind of extend the wedding. So I feel like I don't just want like one pair of wedding shoes or one like wedding outfit. I kind of want to make it multiple so that we can extend the day for as long as possible. And I thought these would be beautiful for the rehearsal dinner, for the night before, because they are just this teeny tiny little stiletto that I just thought was so, so beautiful. Again, pointed toe i feel like rainbow shoes just do that like pointed toe so so well and all it has is a little sling back they look very dior inspired which is what i really really liked about them they are just so understated it really is giving me sophia richie inspired vibes i am so inspired by her wedding i feel like it came at the perfect time for me because obviously it was literally just as i started all of my wedding planning so a lot of my inspiration is definitely coming up from her but i just thought these would be so so perfect they'd also be lovely mother of the bride shoes obviously i'm going to have to start thinking about bridesmaids shoes mother of the bride's shoes i think these would be absolutely stunning i mean the details like it's just got this little like silver piping running around it but other than that they are completely classic and plain and absolutely beautiful now all of these shoes i picked up in a size three i'm like a three and a half and i usually find with heels and stuff i usually go down to a three just because i find that's a little bit more comfortable so obviously your toe kind of like pushes forward so if you've got a little bit of room it's always so uncomfy and all of these shoes are like adjustable with their straps and stuff so hopefully they all fit 
perfectly. I have two other bits from Rainbow Shoes and I'm not entirely sure what to call these. I guess shoe accessories. And when I saw that they had these, I honestly think that they are just the most clever thing in the world. They are shoe tags or shoe pins. I'm not entirely sure what the actual name for them, but they're basically adjustable pieces that you can put on your shoes. So whether that's putting it on the strap, putting it on the buckle, putting it on like the toe, you know, to make it almost like a big brooch on your shoe. I feel like these are the cleverest thing I have ever, ever seen. So even if I don't end up wearing rainbow shoes for my actual wedding, I could easily customize it with some rainbow shoe pieces and make it basically so that the shoes are just exactly what I want and make sure that they are just as me as possible basically which is what I really really love I love being able to like customize things and make it feel as you as possible because there's nothing worse than not feeling like yourself on your wedding day like I just want to feel very very me so I saw this gorgeous little like pearl brooch and I fell in love with those and I thought those could be really nice if you want to create more of like a Milono Blahnik type brooch style like on the toe I thought these would be so so beautiful and then the other one that I picked up which I thought was the cutest thing in the world is a cute little pair of bows. Oh, that's falling out there. Look at that. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see because they are tall, but they're like these cute little tall bows and I thought those would be great on maybe like the straps or the back of the heel, like on the ankle, I thought would be really, really cute. So there's loads of different options for ways that you can customize them. But when I saw that online, I was like, that is absolutely genius. I don't know why more shoe brands aren't doing that. So I'm going to try the shoes on because honestly, I may have found my dream wedding shoes, guys. I may have found my dream wedding shoes. Okay, so I've just changed out of the dress I was wearing because the cream of the H&M number was really clashing with the white on the shoes. So I've just put on this little rubber island number because it's like a good length to be able to show you exactly how the shoes look underneath. And I am so, so in love. So this is the first pair. I think this is the Mimi, but I will link them all down below and look how stunning they are. That like pointed toe is just gorgeous i do quite like the tool running around it but i feel like i need to work on that bow a little bit because it's a little bit small i'm not entirely sure i want it to be a little bit more impactful but i love the silhouette of the heels i think they are so so gorgeous like this pointed toe detail just imagine that popping out from underneath the wedding dress they are absolutely stunning comfort wise i'd say I think I could probably last all day in these. I could probably last for the entirety of the ceremony and until we start dancing um, because they're not too uncomfortable. They pinch a little bit on the sides of my feet, but I definitely think that the kind of thing that I can get away with. Love the fact that obviously because you've got the, um, the like back detail, you've got the tie, they do hold me in quite nicely. So I really like that about them. But yeah, absolutely in love with these. I think they are such a stunning pair of wedding shoes. Okay, next we've got the Amelie. And as you can see, they're... They are a stunning pair of heels, absolutely beautiful, but I'm not going to lie to you guys, I could not wear these on my wedding day. They are just far too high for me. I mean, I want to give myself a bit of height so that we have less of a height difference between me and Alex, but I could not walk down the aisle in these. I would literally trip. They are so, so high. I feel like I'm being like pushed forward. So if you're someone that's really well versed in heels and you're very well practiced, these could definitely be for you. For me, these are not the ones. Unfortunately, they are beautiful, but I am just not well versed enough in heels this high. These, on the other hand, I am seriously in love with. Do you know what these would be perfect for, actually? This is the Joni, the really cute little tiny stiletto. These would be fab if you have quite a small height difference between you and your partner, and you're maybe worried about being taller than them or their wedding, or like looking too high. These would be gorgeous because it looks like you're wearing the most stunning pair of heels, but actually it's just got the tiniest little kitten heels. These are so, so gorgeous. I definitely think this would be a perfect rehearsal dinner shoe. I mean, look how elegant they are. They seriously are giving me Dior vibes for like a fraction of the price, which is what I absolutely love about them. So these I'm definitely going to be keeping. I definitely think I'm going to find an occasion to wear them. And lastly, we have the Elise. And I think it is safe to say these are my dream wedding shoe these are just absolutely stunning they are the perfect evening shoe when you change into your night dress and you just want to party and boogie and just enjoy the evening with all of your friends without worrying about sore feet or anything like that this is the perfect pair of shoes the fact that they're this almond toe is super flattering as you can see they're really elongating like they don't look like flats especially if you have a longer dress but even if you had a mini dress i think they would look beautiful because you've got that like sling back detail and the silver kind of piping almost makes 
makes it look like there is a heel to them, which is what I really, really like. But they're actually super comfortable. Like, I can feel like I could dance all night in these. So, still a little bit undecided about what to wear for my day shoe. But I feel like I've got my evening shoe sorted. These are just the absolute dream. Oh, I'm so, so happy. And just to show you how the kind of, like, brooches, the um, shoe accessories work, you literally just clip it on like this. So, if you wanted, like, a little bit more detail, as I said, a bit more, like, Manolo kind of esque this is just so beautiful i love this pearl detail and i love the fact that you can put it on any shoes that you own you can just take it off and clip it onto anything because it literally is just like a little clip that just pops off so easily so it's so clever because you can have them completely plain i mean you could even wear like the same shoes for two different occasions like maybe if you wanted to wear these for the rehearsal dinner and you wanted something a little bit like extra you could do that and then if you wanted to have them completely plain and you didn't want anything for the evening whilst you're dancing you can wear them plain i absolutely love that these are definitely the dream wedding shoe oh my goodness me rainbow shoes you have done absolutely amazing speaking of wedding shoes one thing that i really want to do for a bit of like a wedding favor at our wedding is to have a basket of um flip-flops in the corner because i feel like there is nothing worse than when you either forget or just don't bring a change of shoes for the evening um you guys might remember that when i was at the wedding in edinburgh i completely forgot to bring a pair of flats there was like a mix-up with me and my brother's girlfriend and like she thought i brought the bag i thought she'd brought the bag so neither of us had a pair of flats and we both had to to last the entire night we did an entire Kaylee in our heels and they were absolutely our feet were just dying the next day um so I think it might be a cute idea just to do like a basket of like white flip-flops in like various different sizes so that people can just grab them and help themselves I can literally just go to Primark and get something because I think that's like a really nice wedding favor um Alex and I were talking about wedding favors the other day because I do think it's so lovely to like give things to your guests to be able to take away with and a wedding favor he really wants to do is um disposable cameras on the table and he said he saw this idea online and I love the sound of it and basically they gave I think they called it it was either photo bingo or like a treasure hunt where basically they gave the guests a list of things to like get photos with so like do a photo with the bride do like this particular pose like see if you can find I don't know like something very specific with regards to the wedding venue and like get them to get loads of different photos and then at the end ask someone like a member of your family or something to like collect all of the disposable cameras and like it's their responsibility to get them all developed and then you see all of the photos the next day because I think it's just so much more fun than like sometimes when you're at a wedding it can get a bit I don't want to say too serious but you know what I mean there's just like pretty nice photos and actually sometimes it's so much fun to have like different photos that are maybe a little bit sillier and like just a bit more fun so I think we're gonna do that um but I've been having a lot of fun looking at wedding favors online let me know if you have any really good wedding favors from either like your own wedding or weddings you attend because I feel like it's so nice to have something that's like a little bit different and I feel like every single wedding you go to is always so unique and so different and like you can just take little bits from like each wedding to kind of like amalgamate basically basically your perfect day so that you have the perfect day and your guests have the perfect day so if you have any good wedding favors please do let me know down below because I am really enjoying it at the moment full wedding planning is happening right now and I'm having so much fun Good morning darlings, it is the next day now and this vlog has slowly but surely turned into a three day vlog. I feel like it's been quite a bitty vlog so I'm really really sorry for that but I just haven't really picked up the camera a huge amount over the last couple of days. I feel like when it comes to vlogging, actually I feel like when it comes to my entire life I am so all or nothing. I guess it probably epitomizes the fact that I am a true Gemini like through and through in the sense that I am an all or nothing kind of person. I either can't stop picking up the camera, can't stop chatting to you, I've got verbal diarrhea and I talk for hours or I pick up the vlog barely over like the course of a few days so i thought i would elongate this vlog into a three day vlog so i hope you guys don't mind that this has ended up being like three days but i've got my morning coffee in hand i've made myself a hot coffee because it isn't quite as sunny and warm today and i always feel like an iced coffee you need glorious sunshine but i'm really really hoping that the sun does come out today because i actually have a shoot planned this afternoon and there is nothing better than a gorgeous spring summer shoot in the sunshine with beautiful weather so keeping every finger and toe crossed according to the weather forecast it should brighten up so i'm really really hoping that it does but you'll be able to see 
I am wearing the exact same dress that I wore at the beginning of this vlog because I am Lizzie McGuire and I am an outfit repeater and proud. You guys know what I'm like with regards to my wardrobe. I love re-wearing pieces and I love getting my cost per wear. So I'm wearing this dress again today because it is just such a comfort dress for me. Like it's a comfort blanket of a dress. It's super comfy, it's super flattering, really timeless and elegant. And it's a really, really great dress if I know I'm going to be doing a lot of outfit changes today. I've got a lot to shoot at home this morning and then this afternoon I'm going out to do a shoot at at my favorite favorite location here in Hampshire so I've got this dress on again today and I will leave it linked down below well like this versions this year's version of it because this is actually about two years old now which goes to show how much I've worn it and how much I love it but there's like a H&M alternative which I'll leave linked down below that so many of you guys have shopped already I can always see the like analytics I'm such a stat nerd I am someone that really really enjoys looking into the analytics and the stats and just being able to see like what you guys are enjoying so I can make sure I'm providing you with the best content and so many of you guys have shot this dress already and I'm so glad that you have because it is such a stunner I feel like it's going to fit so many body shapes it's going to suit so many body types it's going to work with so many different skin colors and tones and textures and oh my goodness I just absolutely love it so I am outfit repeating today but I'm not ashamed of that so plan of action today I've got my shoot this afternoon I actually first thing this morning need to go and get my nails done they're not actually looking too bad this is the set of nails that I had done just before I went away to Rhodes I feel like they're not looking horrendous they just are starting to get a little bit long and you can see a little bit of regrowth coming through and I'm the kind of person that I really really don't like it when my nails start to if anything kind of goes wrong with them so like if they chip if they peel if anything like that happens I will literally just pick off and peel the rest of it I will ruin my nails so I have to be quite regiment with my nails and like every two weeks I go and get them done as soon as I start seeing a bit of regrowth I'm like that's it need to go and get them sorted but I love this color so I think I might just go for the same again because I'm Lizzie McGuire and I'm an outfit repeater, but um, yeah, I think they were just so, so perfect. And actually the regrowth is quite minimal. When I think about it, I think it might actually be just over two weeks since I last got them done. I think it might be nearly three weeks now. So it's actually not too bad going, but um, I do have nails that grow quite quickly. So excited to go and get those done this morning. And actually I had something arrive last night that I thought was very, very fitting considering I was going to get my nails done today. It's from Dr. Dana. And I believe this is now available on QVC. And it's a nail renewal system. Now, I am someone that always gets my nails done with shellac. And I know it can be quite damaging. And I do think maybe I should look into taking breaks in between the shellac. Because I do find sometimes they can get a little bit brittle and a little bit damaged. So this is basically a nail renewal system. There's three steps to it. So step one is glycolic prep for nails. Step two is the priming one. And then step three is a deep hydrating formula so it's got like a photo on the back to show you like the before and after of the kind of like effects of this and how well it's supposed to help your nails so it says it instantly achieves a healthy looking finish and a chip free shine treats 10 nails in 10 minutes formulated with plant extracts sounds really really great i'm gonna give this give this a little oh look it's really simple it's literally just these little little pens so that sounds absolutely amazing so apply once a week to clean dry unpolished nails so obviously i'm someone because i get my nails done i won't be able to do it once a week but maybe if i look at taking a break i'll be able to do this a little bit more regularly but um yeah feel really really happy about that one thing that i've actually been implementing into my kind of like nail care routine is cuticle oil i actually use this one it was one that i got in the Cowshed Christmas Advent Calendar, and it is the Nourish Cowshed Cuticle Oil because my nail tech told me that my cuticles were really, really dry, and I feel like ever since using this, they have been so much better. And my nails almost feel like less brittle. I feel like this really helps it just kind of like soaking into your nails as well. So it's got oils of apricot, castor, and sweet almond. It smells really, really nice, and I just apply this maybe like once a week on my nails when I'm having like a little bit of a pamper just to kind of give them an extra boost of hydration so i need to go and get going speaking so much of nails i need to go and get these babies sorted and i'll catch up with you guys in a bit that sunshine i see oh my goodness me this is making me very happy fresh nails and the sun has come out so i've gone for the exact same oh that is very there we go <laughs> sorry that's very very bright but i've gone for the exact same again because honestly i'm just 
the biggest creature of habit and when i like something i like something so this is two layers of the shade grapefruit and one layer of negligee and they're normally used for the um like french polishes because they're a little bit is it translucent i think is the word i'm thinking of like they're a little bit see-through so we do three layers so two layers of grapefruit one layer of negligee and it just creates the perfect little like pearlescent pinky nail i'm so so in love and i've actually just had a text from my friend whilst i was in there asking if i was around if i was free and wanted to go for a coffee um and where i get my nails done is quite close to um southampton city center so i think i'm going to pop into west key and join her for a quick coffee which will be really really lovely nothing better than an in in true impromptu coffee date so i'm gonna head in now okay so i've got about half an hour to kill before i meet my friend for a coffee so i've just come into john lewis in west key i thought i would have a little one around at the new intersection immediately drawn in by this gorgeous, I don't know if this is Reese or Phase 8, but this stunning white dress with the blue piping. I think it's Phase 8, let me check that Oh, Ralph Lauren. Oh, my goodness, it's a Ralph Lauren dress. Oh, that is absolutely stunning. I think I need to see if they've got that in my size. I wish I suited green more. I feel like green really suits blondes because this dress is absolutely stunning. I feel like it doesn't look much on the hanger, but this is one of those dresses that I think will really cinch in at the waist. And this cow neckline is beautiful. I feel like for a holiday dress, that is gorgeous. Phase 8 have some absolutely stunning dresses. I love the way that they always color code the pieces in at John Lewis, but I am very drawn in by this number this gorgeous little blue and white floral number i feel like i'm just clearing away from the kind of like big floral prints and i'm really loving like more ditzy dainty florals i just love this and look at the skirt it's got a stunning little like tearing detail which i always absolutely adore oh this is such a stunning dress i found the dress but they don't have my size which is so so sad because it's just such a stunning dress i mean this like three layered kind of like flute on the sleeves is stunning the piping i love the fact that they've got piping on the belt i actually think you could get away with not wearing a belt as well i really am enjoying not wearing belts this summer i don't know what has changed inside of me but um i might have a little look online it is a spenny dress though i will warn you it is 300 pounds which is a lot but it's one of those dresses that i feel like you can wear this to a lot of different occasions obviously not a wedding but lots of other summer occasions i think this would be so beautiful for um if you like want, like it but you want one more for a wedding they've got this one here which is like a a really really similar style but more of like a blue floral which i think would be so so stunning they always have the best collection of ralph Lauren dresses in this john lewis okay popped by coach and i am obsessed with these little top handle bags they are so so gorgeous but if you want something a little bit kind of looser and these are just stunning it's like off the shoulder i absolutely adore and i have to go into my faves at a long shot i always love the wall of la pliage bags it is just my fave they have so many cute pieces in for summer i mean look at this this is really giving me like celine vibes which i really really love it's got like this long handle which i think is gorgeous absolutely love that and kind of obsessed with this one up here as well this like big tote bag i definitely don't need a new tote but it is gorgeous oh i've just spotted they also have this which is pretty i feel like you could get away with wearing this in summer and in autumn so it's a really lovely lovely one they've kind of changed the logo slightly on these new bags which i quite like i think it's really pretty and i know i've spoken about this before but this is what gave me the inspo to get that term um, coach scarf is basically this styling with the la pliage net bag i didn't actually take it with me to ibiza i feel like i need to get it out ready for summer but they use like a um they use a silk scarf as the lining and then it means that you basically just get to see the beautiful pattern and everything inside is nice and secure so you can use like literally any silk scarf that you've got they've got like a pink one here a green one and then another gorgeous patterned one up here so i really love that it's given me a lot of inspo for my summer styling oh my goodness how teeny tiny is this <gasps> i'm in love Okay, so I've just come to June because I have been debating whether to pick myself up a new pair of the um, gorgeous slides. I absolutely love these and I don't have them in tan. I really, really love them. They're obviously very Hermes inspired if you are looking for a pretty much identical zoop of the Hermes, the ones that everyone's talking about at the moment. These are very, very similar and an absolute fraction of the price. They have so many gorgeous shoes in and oh my goodness, look 
at these heels, these mules. Oh, they are just a stunning like rattan. I feel like the lighting is really bad to see the color. They're just like a really beautiful, natural, jute rattan color. I love the fact that they're a slip on. Oh, these are stunning. These might have to come home with me. These are very cute for summer. I've been looking for some new um, slides for summer because you know how much I absolutely adore them. And I really love the fact that they've got the rattan, but also the tan leather. Love those. They also come in black. And of course, my faves, Castagna wedges. These are just the perfect summer shoe if you're looking for something that's like wedding worthy, summer garden party worthy. They do different heel heights as well. So depending on how high you want to be, how comfortable you want to be, they have so many gorgeous options. Does anyone else just also love looking around the men's section? I always get so much inspo looking at what Alex might like. This is a really cute shirt. I can definitely see him in that for summer. Oh my goodness, Kin. This is a brand that I discovered last year and they just do the softest shirts. They feel kind of like a linen blend, but they're not, so they don't crease as easily. And Alex, I got him maybe two of these shirts last year and he wore them so, so much. I'm gonna see if they've got his size in this one. They also have a few other colors over here i really love this like sagey green number this is absolutely stunning i can't tell you how soft these are they are such a perfect summer shirt for your man and i can't help myself i just have to pop over into the home section at this sofa i am absolutely in love with and i'm not gonna lie this chair i have been eyeing up for months i just think it's the cutest thing in the world the like patterns these kind of like almost look like pumpkin type designs like apples butterflies i just think it's the cutest thing ever i feel like this would look so beautiful in a nursery obviously not thinking about that for a really long time but i'm in love with the chair right i'm heading up to the top floor to meet my friend for coffee it is seriously busy in here so i'm not going to turn the camera around but what i will say is that if you are looking for a nice place to go for a coffee in Southampton city centre and you want somewhere with a view come to the top of the John Lewis cafe in John Lewis they have the best view it absolutely looks over out onto the um the cruise ships over the dock and so you can see all the cruise ships coming in you can see out the sea it's just like such a lovely atmosphere so i would definitely recommend coming here I'm not entirely sure what this says about my style, but I had so many compliments on my dress today, all of which were from older ladies. <laughs> I'd say ladies that were maybe like 50, 60 plus. So many ladies stopped me and asked me where this dress was from, which it's just a plain black dress. Like I don't really think it's anything special, but um, yeah, not really sure what that says about my style, but no, it's always lovely to be complimented on. We had such a lovely catch up and coffee, and I'm so, so glad that the sun has come out for my shoot this afternoon. So I'm just heading home now so that I can pack up my bits and get ready for an afternoon shoot at my fave, Mottisfont. I know I've spoken about Mottisfont a lot, but it's one of my favorite places to go in Hampshire. It's also one of my favorite places to shoot because I feel like it just always looks so beautiful. Like no matter what time of year, whether you're going in autumn, spring, summer, maybe not winter, winter, like after December. They dress it really beautifully for Christmas, but after December in like January, February, March, not my fave to go, but um, yeah, throughout like the spring, summer months, it's just so, so beautiful. So really looking forward to a sunny shoot this afternoon. We have arrived on shoot location. Look at the house. Oh, it's just absolutely stunning. All the grounds here are just my favorite. 